The Environmental Compliance Certificate, or ECC, is required by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, or the DENR, to ensure that business undertakings do not cause a significant negative environmental impact. The checking and enforcement of such a permit is a tedious task, however, given the number of industries that need to be monitored, as well as the logistical challenges it entails, according to Undersecretary Carlo Primo David. Through innovation, the DENR now uses a geospatial data system that allows for the remote tracking down of illegal querying activities and businesses without ECCs. Each and every pin, so okay, let's click on, is an industry. So this is our map of industries with the appropriate um, permits to operate, okay. called the ECC, Environmental Compliance Certificate. Mm -hmm. 20 something thousand. Mm -hmm. My question is how will we identify industries operating without an ECC? This is all those with ECCs. Mm -hmm. So, see, Leila, devised the way. First, we identify man made structures that are of a particular size, so hindi bahay, factory, okay, automatically. Next, we overlay the pins yung mga yellow pins like so and those buildings without any pin are our candidates of industries without a permit okay now very straightforward okay next question is who are those industries we can now go there but it's too tedious they don't have their names in the bubong but we have tools like this one here this is Google Street View. So we identified one without an ECC in the records. Look for their signage, their caratula, Chinese, their yeah. Chinese company. Get the name, send the letter. Please provide us a copy of your ECC. And if you, you cannot, notice a violation. Of course, if you are a, an industry operating illegally, you won't have your signage outside. Mm -hmm. So maraming ganyan. Walang signage. So what do we do? So we turn over to another map that we use. Sabi ka sa inyo, non-conventional data. What you're seeing here are all the structures that have been mapped out, completely anonymized, remove the person. We use this map, lalo na if you're in the office, in the industry, now we are trying to identify. And when, when you click on the map, it gives you the address of that structure. And you, it's as simple as typing that address in Google and you get the name of the company. Send the letter. So fast forward, we've rolled this out in Laguna and um, we've apprehended non-contact apprehension 237 only in 12 or 13 uh, industrial parks. Hindi pa kompleto yung buong lagid. So our prediction is because it's about 12% per industrial park. So if you have 100 uh, industries in one industrial park, about 12 of them are in violation. So 12% uh, the universe uh, is about 320 industrial parks. Um, and then 12% of that, something like 3,500 industries mm -hmm. not having the necessary permits.